Alright guys, what is going on? Oink here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the GTR official record trophy for GT5 where you need to achieve a time of 7 minutes 29 seconds point zero three on the Nürburgring with the Nissan GTR and you have to follow these exact steps to qualify for the trophy. So, main menu head to arcade mode. It has to be done in arcade mode, it can't be done in GT Life. Then, once you're on that menu, head into time trial over to uh, world tracks on the uh, tabs there and then scroll all the way over to Nürburgring. Now there's several variations of the Nürburgring which you can use. The one you need is the one which is simply called Nürburgring Nordschleife. It's the first one on the list. There are quite a few others there so make sure that that is the one that's the only one that it will work with. Um, once you've taken that one, go onto the car tab of Arcade Only. This is the uh, limited restriction cars for Arcade Mode. If you scroll over to the right you will find a GTR 2007 model, there it is, GTR 07, that's simply all it says. You take that car, and uh, from this point on you can fiddle with your settings as much as you like. There's no restriction, except from the tyres. And I will show you which tyres you can take, so it doesn't matter, take any colour you like. Um, uh, once you're in here, the tyres have to be sports hard or below. That meaning sports hard or comfort soft comfort medium or comfort hard obviously the best tires to use there are the sports hard so you need to be using those everything else better than that is disallowed the settings I've used for driving this is everything off skid recovery on ABS on one now by all means you don't have to follow this you can actually use any settings you want um, but obviously the tires have to stay the same and I'll talk a bit more about settings as we get into the lap. Now, that's how you will need to set up to get the trophy. Uh, anything that differs from that won't qualify you. GT5 is really good at being completely unclear about how to get its trophies. There are so many where it's just like, how do I even get that, you know, and it's just a right pain in the ass. So if you follow those uh, instructions exactly, you will be qualifying for the trophy. Now, once you're in there, this is my lap time to get the trophy, by the way, that you're seeing right now. Went with the nice red car there. <laughs> and uh, the settings that I explained earlier. Um, you need to get the lap time of 7.29.03 of a second. Um, <clears throat> it's a relatively challenging one. This, this is more about um, your ability to get a clean, smooth run of the, the track. Um, because it's a time trial, because you have to be in time trial, it's not just a practice or something. If you come off the track and GT5 judges that to be taking a shortcut or cutting time off your lap, then your time will go red and it will become an invalid lap. Um, if you get that, then by all means you can carry on for practice, but if you finish that lap and it's within the time, it won't count, so it has to be a good lap in ter you know good being you know not a uh, fouls or anything like that like it has to be clean you can't come off the track you can't get uh, um, a penalty time basically um, so that's kind of the main challenge behind this the actual time that you need to get I don't find particularly challenging like I said once you've gotten used to the car fiddled around with some settings that you feel is fastest for you. Everyone finds their driving style is different, so you'll find that the settings I use may not be the way that you drive fastest, but this is how I prefer the car. And, uh, yeah, I think I come in a good few seconds ahead of the uh, the t target timer, so really it's not the hardest, it's not like you'll be in milliseconds uh, you know, before the time. I, I really believe that this trophy is more testing your knowledge of, um, you know, the Nürburgring and your ability to drive the car, you know, quickly. You can't be slow about it, but with a nice smooth line, nice and a, a good speed throughout the whole course, um, and basically without making any mistakes. If you make a mistake, you're probably going to lose too much time to get the trophy. Uh, this might take you a few goes just to get practiced just to get familiar with the car like I said and the track and how the car handles on the track you know all cars react differently to uh, different sorts of cornerings and uh, all that sort of stuff so yeah just take your time get used to the different factors and um, yeah find out a nice smooth line uh, and once you've got that I really think it's not the, the most difficult of trophies to actually get once you get it down and uh, people who have been playing this for a long time shouldn't have too much of a challenge now if I talk a bit about settings, like I said, I've gone with 
um, ABS one skid recovery on and everything else off now I'm aware that skid recovery is generally thought of as a bit of a cheat aid because it's not really a real thing I mean basically what it does for people who aren't really sure is when you when the car detects that it's uh, got wheel spin and it's basically skidding um, it basically just gives your wheels grip that's literally what it does it just gives you grip it doesn't come from anywhere your car just gains grip when you start to spin basically or your wheels start to spin what that means is let's say you uh, put a little bit you know you go in faster than you otherwise would do into a corner now normally that might you make you skid out or get a bit of understeer as soon as you start skidding you just get more grip which means that you can go fast around the corner it really is as simple as that so I find how I tend to set up, now if I'm playing online or something, usually skid recovery is turned off and for the most part I do believe that skid recovery is a bit annoying because like I said it is just a bit of a, a cheat aid basically. Um, but when you're playing in offline mode and you're just trying to get a trophy, you're just trying to, you know, there's no competition, you're not trying to, you know, prove anything to anyone. I really think you may as well just use it, it's basically just saying have some more grip, it really is that simple. Uh, the way I set this car up with like traction control and ABS turned off, that means that you're you're going to have not only um, a, a high speed of the car because you're not going to be being held back by the other driving aids. You know, like traction control. As soon as you start getting wheel spin, it reduces the uh, maximum power output that you can put into the into the car to try and reduce the spin. Um, if you turn that off you can keep putting power down when your car is spinning now if you combine that with the fact that you got skid recovery it's basically saying the car is letting you skid and when you do skid you get more grip so effectively the more aggressive you drive with this setup the faster you're going to be uh, and it does make it a little trickier because obviously driving aggressively can result in basically more accidents coming off the track more stuff like that but if you get the rhythm of the car the rhythm of the track and the feel of it just right I mean you can go ridiculously fast with that setup which is why I've used it and uh, I do recommend if you're stuck for a, a starting point at least on settings to give that a go um, and hopefully you can find that uh, works for you guys in terms of the uh, errors I was talking about if you come off the track you will get a penalty time and it will go red and you won't qualify basically what that means is I think all four wheels need to be off the track completely so if you've got say one wheel left on the track that's still okay uh, however I think if you say for example go off all four wheels on the outside of a corner I don't think that results in a penalty I think how it judges it is if you're all four wheels off the track and you're seen to have gained time from t being all off the track so let's say it's to stop you corner cutting basically you saw just as I was saying that I actually pretty much corner cut and I my heart skipped a beat when I was doing that because I was I, I reckon what must have happened is my uh, front right tire must have just been on the um, like the curb stones you know the little red and white rumble pads on the side I think they must have just been clipping that because I mean that was a blatant corner cut I didn't do it deliberately I just had a bit of understeer there and I couldn't quite keep it in um, but yeah really lucky to avoid that one and that's the kind of thing that makes this hard it's not necessarily the time it's just like if you make one tiny error or just go into a corner the slightest bit too fast and you come off that's it you gotta you know you're gonna have to go back in and do it again um, so like I said it's really about just knowing it you know really uh, practice and just understanding your lines and your braking and all that kind of stuff for anyone who's interested I don't actually use the driving lines um, you know the red and the red and blue dotted lines on the track uh, I know a lot of people who maybe have just started playing this or whatever may still use those but I actually find that I'm faster without it so have those turned off just uh, in case anyone's wondering oh and I also do use a wheel but I can tell you now that this is easily possible without a wheel um, so you shouldn't have to worry about that anyway there's my final time is 722.9 so I'm a good well five seconds within more than five seconds so yeah like I said it shouldn't be too tricky if you can get the line straight hope this video has helped you out anyway guys and I'll catch you guys soon peace